Good morning, good morning, kings and queens. This is Beyond the Walls Ministry, and I'm your minister, TJ Beatty. Today's nugget will be coming from Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. And it reads, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything you can that we anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. This morning, I want to encourage you to stop worrying. I want to tell you that, that God will, will give you all that you need. He will supply all you need. That God is always had, he's always had your back. It, it's, it, you know, some people say that it's easier said than done to not worry about anything. Because that's things like that's the first thing that we do. But that's only a behavior. That's only something that you've been conditioned to do. And that's worry. You Maybe you've seen your parents worry. Maybe you've seen your grandparents worry. Maybe you've just seen the people who raised you or you've been around your entire life. The first thing that they do is go into worry mode. They go into a panic mode. They act like that the, the world is, is like you're at a war. So they begin to worry. Soon the bills, they find out, hey, guess what? These bills are higher than I expected. They find out, hey, they know what? They walk into the job and guess what? They tell them, hey, today is our last day. The company is going out of business. We're shutting down. But the first thing that we do is that we worry. But we, we've been taught. We, we, but we say that we are Christians. We say that we are believers. We say that we trust in God. It seems like that, you know, it's easy when things are always going well that we, are, that we can stand in the fire. <laughs> when when things are are, 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 are are going great for us It's okay for us to say Hey I trust God, I love God I believe everything that God said I can stand on the word It's normally when the times get tough That's when we find out who we are That's when we find out what we're made of What is your true DNA <laughs> are, are you really a man or woman of God? Have you been telling everybody hey, else to, to have faith and to stand on the word of God, to trust him when things were easy going for you? But when the hard times came, when life really hit you, when it hit you so hard that guess what? You fell to your knees and you know that you didn't think that you ever get back up. That's the, he, 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 we learned right here in Philippians, it says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. It, that's that's the time that we should be submitting to God. When 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 tough times come about, when 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 life really hits you, you should be really going to God at those times. That's when you should be doing like the word of God says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and leaning out to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledging him and he will direct your path. That's when God will show you the direction to go. That's when, when God will lead you. That's when God will, will move those hard obstacles out the way and make your roads even clearer. <laughs> he says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. We should be having a relationship with God just like we have a relationship with man. You know how some of y'all want to soon things happen in your life? You run and talk and tell everybody else what's going on in your life. You want to you want to go and start having all these conversations about everything that uh, you think should happen and should happen. You want to tell everything you you know everything to say. Then you got a full conversation for people of the world. But you should be having that same mouthful when it comes to your situation with God. That's who you should be running to. That's who you should be telling your problems all about. That's who you should be spilling the beans to. That's who you should be pleading and begging and, and asking God to fix this situation and make it better. But even in those situations, on the, the B part of it, you to know that, hey, when I go to God, when I tell God about my problems, when I, when, I, when I do this, I go in faith, I go in confidence, knowing that, gay. Hey, when I go to God and tell him about these situations, man, I'm not going to worry about them anymore. I'm not even going to God with worry. You got to get to the point, guess what? You're not even going to him in a worry mode. You're going to him, guess what? Because you're the, you're the one I need to be going to. Because I know that in my situation, that, hey, you've done it before, you'll do it again. I know that you've been doing everything in my life. I know that I can't do nothing without you. So, hey, in this situation, it's time to go to God. So that's how I'm going. I'm going with that level of confidence. That's what God needs us to be. He needs to be us. He needs us to do things in confidence. Not, not going because we're worried. Cause, oh, Lord, I really need you to do this. No, God, they're saying that they're going to shut the job down, God. But I know 
that you are my God, you are my provider, you are my all in all, you are my strength, you are my help. So, I, so God, in this situation, I need you to open the door for me. I need you to make a way for me, God. I need you to provide for me, God. God, you've seen my faithfulness. God, you've seen me giving. You've seen me loving, God. You've seen me being an example. So, God, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just reminding you, God, of your promises, God. Because I'm your child. I'm your heir. See, I'm, I'm going to God in confidence. I'm not going to God worrying. I'm telling God what I need. It's just tell God what you need and, and thank him. For what he's done, I'm, I'm going to give him the praise, the glory, and the honor for all that he's done. See, do you have to understand what, you, what you're getting right now is the recipe. The recipe on how to live your life for God, to live your life in confidence, to live your life trusting him. See, we got to live like that. See, there's a different way, of, a, a, a different response of things that happen in our life when we live as the examples that God has truly been teaching us and wanting us to be. He says, tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Give him the glory. Give him back the praise. I'm, I, 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 to add on to that, I say, praise him in advance. Start praising him right now. Praise him like you don't know what's going to happen three months from now, three years from now. So, so you start saying, God. I thank you for, uh, for even if, if the enemy tries to put a wrinkle in situations and, and cause the job to shut down, God, I thank you because, because God, I know that you're going to open doors in the future, God, because you know my know the plans for me, God, you, you have plans that I'll be successful, God. I know that, God, so for that, for that, I thank you, God, if the enemy tries to attack my health, God, 10 years from now, God, I know, God, that you will heal me, that you will strengthen me, God, so I thank you in advance. I thank you, God, in advance. It says then, verse 7 says, then you will experience God's peace. It's the mind. That God, God will give you his mind. Say, God will give you his peace. See, we don't want the peace of the world. See, people can make our days go by smooth, make us have a great day. That's cool. That's fine. But there's even a better peace that I have, that I have with God. That peace that God gives me. It's a different sense of urgency. It's a, it's, a, it's a different relaxation that comes in knowing that, hey, in this situation. And, you know, you know how you see people, you say, man, Grandma, Grandma, Grandma just seemed like she's so at peace. She, she ain't worried about nothing. They just told us that the light bill was $800. And I know Grandma ain't got no more than 450 Grandma just said, it's going to be okay. It's going to work out. Because God, Grandma know her relationship with God. She know how she's been committed to God. She she know the work that she's been putting in for God. She know the battle in the, that she the battlefield that she's been on for God. She she understands that the Lord is my shepherd. She understands that that she will not want. <laughs> she she knows that. She knows who her father is. See, do you ask you the question? That, do you know who your father is? I ain't, I ain't talking about your earthly father. I'm talking about your spiritual father. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the man who <laughs> sits high and looks low. <laughs> it says, then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything, <laughs> anything that we can understand. It's mind-blowing. God's peace is mind-blowing. It's more than anything that you can understand. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. It's having the mind of God. <laughs> Do you have the mind of God on today? Do, do you display the attributes of Christ in your everyday living? It says, and last but not least, it says, His peace will guard your heart and mind as you live in Christ Jesus. See, when you have the mind of, of God, when you have the attributes of God in you, when you're living for God, when, when you are being a, 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 an example of him, when his light shines in you and, and everywhere that you go it dwells, it, it becomes a new dwelling place. His peace will guard your heart. See, when, when my heart is guarded by God, <laughs> the pain, the hurt, the discomfort that the world may try to give me, I won't be affected by it because God, God's heart, God's heart, God's mind, God's peace, it will be a protector. It will give me a, a new feeling, a new place of comfort. He, he, will, he will guard my mind. I won't go into that mindset of feeling like I'm defeated and I'm overcome. I, I'll know that I am a victor. I will know that I am a winner. I will know that I am success. 
I will know that I am love. See, when I, when I have God in my life. See, I just want you to know that, that, that you shouldn't be in the worry mode. You, there's, there's somebody out there today. They might be worrying about the things that they got going on in their life. They may have just lost a job. Huh? They, they, they may have had some old old things that they've been into. They, 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 they've been changing their life and trying to turn it around. And it seems like it's just tough right now. Seems like I can't get ahead. Seems like every time I put one foot forward, it seems like I'm taking 10 back. That may be you on today. But if that is you on today, I'm telling you that that thing can change right now. It's, it's only a commitment that you have to make with God And you have to be committed You have to stay committed You have to have some fervency in your heart When you say and speak these things You have to know that I am truly committing and submitting to God on today That I want change I don't, I'm tired of worrying I'm tired of wondering you know, what, what my life will, will be like God says that when you submit to me When you commit to me and everything that you've done in the past, that's what it will be. It will just be old news. That on today, that I will give you a new path, a new life, a new walk. I will bring full, complete newness to you. Everything that you will do from this day forward will be brand new. That I will blow your mind with blessings. That I will blow your mind with health and strength, with prosperity, with healing. I, I will, I will, my grace will be upon you. That's what God wants to give you on today. If that's you on today and you want to submit on today, I encourage you just to say this prayer with me. Say, dear God, you are my God and I am your child. And I believe that you will give me strength. You will give me comfort, that you will give me peace, that you will make my life brand new. I believe that through Jesus Christ dying on the cross and raising the third day with all power in his hand, God, that these things will happen in my life that they will be possible and if you said that on today I believe that that God is about to do a new thing in your life so I say today on this wonderful Wednesday don't worry don't wonder just trust God be blessed